Hello, my name is Anne Gachuhi. I'm the founder of the Home Gardening Support Network. And in this session, we are going to talk about Chinese rose beetles and the best strategies for controlling them. Of all the garden pests out there, the one that I get the most questions about is the Chinese rose beetles. I often hear, how do I control Chinese rose beetles? That's the question most home gardeners have. So what is the Chinese rose beetles? The Chinese rose beetles is a somewhat large, pale, reddish brown beetle, which is about half an inch in length. It's actually quite a big beetle. They often have a grayish tinge due to some fine whitish hairs that covers their bodies. Chinese rose beetles are actually responsible for causing damage to over 250 host plants. So it's a really wide range of plants that they affect. You may have seen them, especially if you bought seedlings, let's say tomatoes from the garden center, and they usually have those um, skeletonized look. We'll talk about that. They affect both ornamentals as well as cultivated plants. Examples of some of the plants that are affected by Chinese rose beetles include Chinese garbage, eggplants, cucumbers, sweet potatoes, and beans, just to name a few. The Chinese rose beetles, they feed mostly at night, and they are attracted to lights at night. And this is something you can use to your advantage. So about 30 minutes after sunset is their most active feeding period and mating period as well. During the day, you can find Chinese rose beetles lying under leaf litter, loose bark, or buried shelly in the soil. So you need to look through. You make a thorough check of your mulched plants, check through the mulch, check through any loose bark, and this can be beneficial in finding them during the day because they're hiding there. They're not, they don't go anywhere, they just hide in the mulch, but then they come up at night and do their evil thing. Now, damage by Chinese rose beetles is, it, it's, it's what we call skeletonizing. They, they, their damage is characterized by feeding between the veins. They often leave these lace-like appearance on, on plants. That's why they look like skeleton. Usually you see the leaves when they have fed between the veins, between the veins, so only the veins are left. That's why it's called skeletonizing. Newly planted seedlings are most attractive to Chinese rose beetles. And I've seen citrus seedlings, young seedlings, almost devastated by this insect pest. The feeding reduces the photosynthetic area of the plant and leads to reduced vigor and performance. Because of course, if they do take up out the leaves, then there's nowhere that the plant can make food from. So it certainly affects the vigor and the productivity of the plant. So how do you control Chinese rose beetles? You can use cultural or non-chemical strategies for controlling them. Since I mentioned earlier that Chinese rose beetles are attracted to dim light, and they are repelled by bright lights. Place lights in locations that the rose beetles are found. So if you buy these lights, which you can find in most garden centers, you can place them to where the beetles are found. Their dots are attracted to the lights, and this deters their feeding. Therefore, one way to reduce the Chinese rose beetles is by shining bright lights on your plants for two to three hours after dusk. This is the Chinese rose beetle prime feeding time, two to three hours after dusk. So you go out there with a flashlight, as most home gardeners do, to look out for them. There are several types of beetle trap lights in the garden centers that you can purchase. So if you go around and just check for beetle trap lights, you'll find them. Like I mentioned, most people go out after dusk with a flashlight and hand pick these Chinese rose beetles and then drop them into a bucket of soapy water 
which prevents them from recovering. In fact, I had a home gardener who was counting them and she would say, yesterday I picked up 70 Chinese rose beetles. They are quite big, so you won't miss them. You just see them climbing up your rose plants or your garden plants. You can also build a protective barrier around young fruit seedlings or young transplants using a wire cage lined with a shade cloth to deter feeding. Like in the instance where I mentioned that there was this home gardener who had planted, newly planted prime citrus seedlings and they were all skeletonized. The leaves were getting devastated. So if you have something like that you want to protect, you can put this shade cloth over and just for a short while until the plants are big enough. So this will protect the young fruit trees until they are large enough to survive the rose beetle attacks. You can also try using rose beetle traps. This is likely to work better for home gardeners than for areas with heavy infestations. And these are constructed in a way that they have a light at the top and a bowl with water. And when the Chinese rose beetles rise up the trap, they fall into the bowl of water. So these again are available at the garden center. So normally you place these where the Chinese rose beetles are actually affecting the plants. For instance, like I mentioned, my home gardener who has roses, you can place them next to your rose plants so that they get to uh, climb up there where they are attracted to the lights and then they fall into the bowl of soapy water. You need to put the Chinese rose beetle trap near the plants you want to protect. Like I mentioned, that's very important. And I've actually seen it work. I have a home gardener who had wonderful citrus and he placed these lights across all his citrus seedlings and it really worked. Now if you need to use chemical control, this is a little bit tricky. It's been tried but there are sometimes it's, it works. Um, you could try probably the use of neem products, you know like as a derachtin products, those are neem derived, uh, that's the active ingredient in neem. And if you're dealing with ornamentals, you may try and see if that's going to work. Also a systemic insecticide such as amida cropreid, such as bare advanced garden products uh, on ornamentals that is taken through the plant might again work. And lastly, you could try things like merit for landscapes or marathon for greenhouses. A word of caution though, you need to read the label instruction anytime you have to use chemicals. And of course, for a home gardener, uh, using chemicals is a last result. So again, if you'd like to learn more about how to control the Chinese rose beetles or any garden pest, we invite you to visit our website. The Home Gardening Support Network is www.homegardeningsupportnetwork.com. My name is Anne Gachuhi. Um, I'll be happy to help you. Again, I look forward to seeing you in another gardening session. And hopefully this has been helpful in giving you some tips on how to control your Chinese rose beetles. Thank you.